My name is Minnie. And I'm Lauren. And I'm Patrick. And we just wanted to share with you Lily's story today. Yeah, so Lily is four and a half years old, and we first met her uh, Ooh, yeah, when she was about six yeah. months old in China. I was working for a nonprofit here in the U.S., uh, connecting Ooh, doctors yeah. and specialists here in the U.S. with uh, orphans and underserved kids overseas, uh, trying to, to facilitate some consults for their care. Uh, when they reached us, at, when they reached out to us about Lily, uh, you know, they knew she had a tumor. Uh, it was growing pretty fast at the time, and they weren't sure. Uh, what the correct treatment yeah. was. And so through that interaction, we were actually able to adopt Lily in 2017. We dr went directly to um, Seattle Children's to talk to the team there about okay. a debulking yes. surgery. And um, it, you know, it was risky, it was surgery, um, there would be a long recovery process and, and the debulking surgery would need to be repeated several times through childhood and, and as a young woman. Um, so we were really excited to learn that targeted chemotherapy was an option for Lily. And Yay. that actually began. began. Um, the, the next fall in 2018, we were able to get her on a daily chemo dose. In June of last year, through her routine imaging, we found out that she actually had Moya Moya, which is a um, disorder of the arteries in the brain. And she would need not one, but two brain surgeries uh, last summer and fall. Uh, between them, she actually did suffer a stroke due to that Moya Moya. And so last year we spent a little over five weeks in the hospital with her at various times. And now um, the surgeries were a success and she's been able to start her chemo again. And then we were actually started a new chemo. Lily, would you like to tell them about your chemo? Yeah. You're, you're on Cusilago. Mom, I'm here to watch all by myself. Yes, you do. You take your pills all by yourself. Do you swallow them? Mm, yeah. Is it hard, do you think? No. No? Yeah. How many do you take in the morning? One or two or three or two. No, you just take two in the morning and one at night. And you can't eat afterwards. That's the hardest part, right? Mm. <laughs> and um, we're really glad to, that this Cuseligo medication, yeah. the side effects are very mild, and so Lily's able to do everything normal kids are able to do. You started preschool this year, right? Oh, I love that. Yeah, ooh, you're having so much fun in preschool. I'm so you cute, have, Mama. You're so strong. Okay. How many older sisters do you have? Gigi. Uh huh, Gigi and mm -hmm. Molly and. Maggie, and Mama. No, Mama's not a sister. You have four older sisters that you play with, and you're just like, you know, a regular mm -hmm. little kid. And so it, it's just been really exciting to, to see her. Um, it's exciting to have some opportunities for the future as we look towards NF and care. And we just know that um, it's just going to look completely different. Um, as she as she grows and changes, we're excited to see um, what NF looks like in her future. Bye. Bye. And good luck. And good luck. I'll see you next time.